common cold, one of the most common respiratory diseases, is often responsible for most outpatient visits to hospitals. Ranking second and third after respiratory diseases, malaria and diarrhea account for a significant proportion of outpatient hospital visits. High medical costs coupled with multiple tests could however deplete your outpatient medical cover after a couple of visits to the hospital long before the year ends. Ashok Shah, the chief executive officer of Apollo Group, which provides health covers through its subsidiary APA insurance, says seeking essential medical services from clinics as opposed to major hospitals will help you keep hospital bills for common ailments low, saving you up to 50% in medical costs. A clinic will have a lower markup, so we can find the difference between a clinic, a, a good pharmacy, a clinic and a hospital the difference can be as much as 50 percent for for drugs. He says general practitioners, due to wealth of experience, often keep medical costs low by authorizing fewer diagnostic tests. He also says larger hospitals have a tendency of recommending more tests to utilize the equipment they have, in some cases recommending CT scans where an x-ray machine would do. The other problem is, is the diagnostics they start using. Now, if you If somebody has a fractured hand, the 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 cheap the cheapest and the best uh, diagnostic tool is an X-ray, and an X-ray in a hospital uh, in a good hospital will be about sixteen hundred shillings. But then suddenly somebody slaps you and says you must go for a CT scan. Now, if, as soon as they say that you go for a CT scan of the hand, the cost goes up much higher, and was it necessary? Uh, it wasn't necessary. But one of the things that I think is worrying with uh, going to a hospital for outpatient care is, is that uh, f first thing is uh, how good, how expert is the doctor who sees you, number one. And uh, the second thing is, is the over prescription of the tests. A lot of times when you go to a, go to a hospital, uh, as an outpatient, they will say that they want to admit you for one, one night for observation. Now, is it necessary or not? Um, not always. Fluctuating medical costs, he adds, are another trigger of huge sums payable for outpatient services, which account for 60% of medical insurance claims. The changing costs have had serious consequences, raising healthcare inflation to 12% last year, double the general inflation rate of 5.7%. The double-digit inflation rate has resulted to a low penetration rate of about 2.7% amid cutthroat competition as players struggle to undercut rivals. Somebody like uh, an insurance company, which has taken on a contract with with an employer for their employees, sometimes the contracts are for two years. So the premium is determined in the first month, right. and it has to it, that premium is now there for 24 months. So we can't increase the premium. But what will happen is that the hospital increases the rates three times a year. So it could end up that there are six increases for hospitalization, for outpatient, for drugs and so on. According to a shock, medical costs payable to hospitals have in some cases gone up by 30%, further compounding the financial risk covered by insurance companies. Right now, the medical inflation is um, at about 12 to 15%. And at a 15% inflation, we're looking at, uh, in two years, something like a 30% increase in hospital costs. He says fees charged by doctors have also contributed to high health care costs, the other factors being the cost of prescription medicine and diagnosis. What happens is, with a lot of times, is that uh, when, you, when these tests are required, we ask for pre-authorization. So we would ask that the hospital rings us up and then says, we want to do the following and our people, our trained people can say, no, we will not allow it. And then sometimes what we would do is you would say that, okay, you want a, a scan to be done, then we would like you, we'd like the patient to go to another facility uh, for the scan to be done, because what, the, what it is, the cost at that other place is perhaps 
much cheaper. The industry has also been faced by an increase in fraudulent requisitions, with claims process steadily increasing over the past few years. In 2017, for instance, the industry reimbursed claims worth 56.2 billion, an upward of 1.4 billion compared to 54.9 billion paid in 2016. Jeremiah Kaya for Capital News.